Today we're going to be talking about theories surrounding 13 Reasons Why Season 2 and what's potentially to come in Season 3. But before we do, I just wanted to let you guys know this video is sponsored by Amino. I love Amino so much. Amino is a mobile app that has a network of communities for literally everything in the world. To conspiracy theories, to astrology, and even TV shows. There are Amino communities for literally every single TV show that you can think of. They have 13 Reasons Why, Riverdale, the 100 and so much more. But this video is about 13 Reasons Why, so I'm gonna go into the 13 Reasons Why community tab so that you guys can see what's popping over there because there's definitely a lot going on. So there's this poll that says, who do you ship with Hannah? I'm actually gonna pick Zach. I'm sorry, I know people are gonna come for me because they love Clay and Hannah together, but I'm sorry. Clay this season was just a little bit, mm, he was getting on my nerves a little bit. And Zach and Hannah were so cute, guys. They were meant to be together, are you kidding me? Well, 60% say Clay, so I mean, I guess most people still ship them, but I'm sorry. Okay, I'm with the 35.2% that says Zach, okay? Let me know in the comment section below who you ship the most. I'm actually going to make a post. Hey guys, who is your favorite character from 13 Reasons Why? Comment below. So guys, go download the app, hang out with me, add me at Colin Barry so that we can chat about 13 Reasons Why. We can talk about conspiracy theories. We can talk about everything because there's literally a community for everything on Amino. I love the app. It's super awesome. And please go comment down below who your favorite character is because I'm genuinely curious. But once again, go download Amino. I will link it in the description. And also, it's my top pinned comment in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and thank you Amino so much for sponsoring this video. But now let's get into the theories. Now to make a disclaimer, if you have not watched season two yet or season one, I'd advise that you guys go binge watch it, come back to here because if you don't, you're going to be hella confused. There are going to be spoilers. So the first thing that I want to talk about is Jessica and Justin because I feel like this entire season, you know, we've been waiting for Jessica to either forgive Justin, for him to move on from her, or for them to have some sort of at least cordialness between each other because obviously Jessica has a reason to be upset at Justin, rightfully so. And we know she explored something with Alex earlier on but then told him like, you know, let's move on from that. Let's like forget that the kiss that happened ever happened. But something that I know is going to cause a problem in season two is the fact that Jessica went to the dance with Alex was with Alex and then kiss Justin in the locker room. So we already know that the tea is about to go down when Alex finds out, which I honestly feel bad for Alex because he really, really likes Jessica. And I just think that's gonna be a whole mess. Like, I just know it. So this next thing, you know the girl that was following around Jessica in the beginning and we kind of thought she was like a bully and the one that was like leaving notes in her locker? Well, you know, later we find out that she goes to a support group and Jessica goes to it as well and they become friends. In the last episode, we see her burning Polaroids. Now, I'm not entirely sure what she's doing, but it doesn't seem like she's just burning hers. I think that was a revelation that she was the one who stole the box of Polaroids. Obviously, I mean, why else would she have them? So why did she steal the box of Polaroids? What was her intention and what was her motive? I think her, especially, we see throughout the season, says that it's her story to tell and nobody else's. And I think she burned the photos because she didn't want those being used in the courtroom. Because I want to be fair to the victims that weren't aware that those photos were being used. I saw it as something that she felt the need to do as somebody who was a survivor of sexual assault and somebody who dealt with that. I think she had good intentions behind what she was doing. But the question is, are they going to find out in season three that she burned these photos? Is it never going to be revealed? Are we going to learn more about her character? Because I have a lot of questions about her. So now let's talk about Hannah Baker. Hannah Baker in season one told her story through the tapes. That's where we saw her in flashbacks and through her voice and the narration of season one. In season two, she's a ghost for Clay, but he lets her go at the end at the funeral. So I'm wondering, are they going to keep Hannah Baker for season three? Because obviously, you know, the way that they wrote the last episode, they are alluding to a season three. What are they going to do with her? But I also could see them doing a prequel. Maybe they'll explore Justin and Bryce's relationship like before Hannah even went to that school. Maybe they'll talk about all the stuff that happened before all of this happened because that would make sense. And I think with every single season, they're trying to give us a little bit more layering. And that actually could be cool. What do you guys think about that? But either way, I don't really see them getting rid of Hannah. I think she plays a crucial role to the show. And to be honest, I hope they don't continue a third season without her. Okay, now this next part, oh my gosh, I could literally go on an entire rant about because it had me so frustrated the entire season. And that is Chloe and Bryce's relationship. So at the end of 13 Reasons Why season two, we learned that Chloe is pregnant with Bryce's child. Now this is gonna cause a lot of problems 
Firstly, because Bryce is not equipped to be a father. He's a terrible fucking character. I cannot stand him. I wanted him the entire season to die. Like, this is fucked up. Like, I just wanted somebody to fuck him up. All the stuff that he did to these girls the entire season was just so disgusting, and it was really hard to watch, if I'm being quite frank. Chloe was aware that she had been unconscious and that he had taken advantage of her, and she did not testify against him in court, which I actually do understand because I think looking at him in the courtroom was a hard thing. Like, you know, when somebody does that to you, it's, it does take a lot. And your life, as Jessica said, and why she was so hesitant to testify in the beginning is your life does change. And obviously, you know, towards the end of the season, she found the strength to do that. But it's definitely a hard thing. So I understand why Chloe backed out. But what I don't understand is why she literally is still with him. I don't really know, but I do hope that Chloe does find the means to learn and discover who Bryce truly is and to not be in love with him the way that she is and not as loyal as to him as she has been the entire season and that she can move on with her life. Maybe they'll explore that in season three because this girl, I just want her to be free from him. Like, literally, I feel bad for Chloe, to be honest, because even though she has done some shitty things and invalidated Jessica's feelings through a lot of the season and believed a lot of the rumors, she still did make a shift and she did have a lot of growth as a character and I definitely want to see her get out of that toxic situation because it is not good for her. Oh my gosh. I know I'm shifting all over the place, so let's just focus mostly on the prom because I think this is where a lot of the big lead-ins to season three come are at the final episode at the prom. Tyler brought a gun to the school and had the intentions of shooting people there. Now as we find out, he doesn't. He escapes with Tony and hands Clay the gun because Clay convinces him not to. But if they really want to get dramatic and really stir things up for season three, I think Clay is going to get into some legal trouble, possibly a court hearing, possibly he's going to need some witnesses to testify that he had no intentions of shooting up the school, but he's not going to want to tell on Tyler because, you know, he doesn't want Tyler to get in trouble. And I really do hope that Tyler does get help because even though he didn't get away with it that time, that is not to say that he wouldn't try again. But yeah, that actually concludes my theories for season three. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below, letting me know which theories you agree with or theories of your own. I want to hear them too, okay? Let's talk about them in the comment section below. If you have not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell to be notified every single time that I upload a new video. I have a lot of new videos coming soon. I'm super excited. I think guys you're gonna enjoy them conspiracy theories i got a kardashian one coming soon but yeah thank you guys so much for watching again make sure to go download amino go hang out with me there go make friends there go do that because i promise you the app is actually super super dope i know you guys are gonna love it and i will see you guys super soon with a new video bye <laughs>